Is this, is this on? Cool, we'll go. Okay. Thank you very much and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good day in the In our parts of the country, how we say it. I'm here, I've been privileged here to say some words about the testing at what we did in uh, the pulp, pulp and carton factory in, in our location in Kuopio. And, and two months in 10 minutes, it's a little challenging, but I'll try to manage. Okay, so like I said, like Elias previously said, it was the coldest day of the winter when we started in, in January this year. And, and it was really, really nice, nice, um, nice weather, as you can see in the picture. We brought this to the, and this is in the backyard. The, the pilot is in the backyard of the pulp mill, where the sludges, sludges are developed. So this is in the water, water treatment facility of the pulp mill. Um, I've been active on the mechanical engineering side of the of the process. This is the this is the process of the pulp mill. This is the cleaning water cleaning process of the pulp mill. What they are running in in Kuopio. So here are the here are the inputs inputs you see here on the left here. The, this is the factory here. They get the water treatment. Um, all the water is coming from the pulp mill. They do some clarifications in a few stages, vertical and horizontal clarification. Clarifications. They might add some polymers to to um, get the mixture right. Then they then they get it. Then they put it put some air into it. They put some air and, and start start to prepare the microbiological process. So this is an, in a way a pure microbiological process. So there are these kinds of nasty things. What Elias was saying. They might be living here in these pools because they've been there for maybe 20 years now. So they, they, are, they are there and, and we are getting part of those in the sludge as well. So we are getting these sludges, we are getting the primary sludge, then we are getting the bio sludge, and then we are getting the flotational sludge, which is coming right before the water hits back into the, into the lake. So this should be very, very clear water that's going back to the lake. So it's, then cleared out all the chemicals and all the all the bad substances. And here is our feedstock coming from the press filter. And the water water is taken out, so the dry mass content is about 20, maybe 25. So here is the feedstock. This is the crude oil of the future, in my opinion. So this kind of mass. These are produced in very vast amounts, as you as you have noticed in Finland. Pulp and paper is creating a lot of lot of this kind of mass, and you can see what's 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 there. Okay, here it is: waste biomass, which is coming. So our our method, Elias's invention, is here. So this is this is the process what we have what we have in the in the pilot itself. And Elias explained this, and you, you, you saw what Elias explained. I tried to realize this with the engineering team of Savonia. And we have Risto Rissani here as, as well from the automation department who was doing the automation for this. We had six total runs. We ran six, six runs in the pilot. And some <coughs> runs we were adding some pulp, like Elias was mentioning before. To get to get some boosting for the for the microbial process, and and some enzymes were added. This viscomole flow enzyme was also used in the hydrolyzing phase of the of the um, process. Some parameters: the volume what we are running is two to two hundred fifty liters. The hydrolyzing temperature was generally sixty five. Some cases a little bit higher. Um, the reactor temperature was around 37 to 39 degrees in various runs. The pH was in the reactor around four, four and a half, five, sometimes even higher, a little bit higher than that. 
Um, the measurements, what we were measuring, Elias was getting these into his mobile phone as text messages through our automation system. So he was our main process operator day and night. So these, these um, microbes, they are not 95 people, they are more or less 24-7. 20, so so they, they work continuously. And they don't complain too much. Some runs we added some pulp and right when we started to learn, after the sixth week, we started to learn how to run. We had to wash and pack and clean and send it to Poland. So I would say these were more or less technical trial runs. They were not the process runs yet. In our opinion, we could optimize this even for further and we could even 10 times better quantities get once we learn the process a bit better. Okay, Thomas made through the gas chromatography results, made these kinds of charge for each run. And from these, you can get, get the similar type of results, not as good as Reynos, Reynos results from the NMR, but close enough. I think Reynos results are, are similar to these, but I think they are more precise. From the GC, we don't get as precise, but we get in a, in a way, in a way, some clue what is happening and what's going on and how, what kind of results we are getting. And this slide you saw already in Elias's slide, so we are quite happy with the outcome of of the results. So at least we were able to produce the chemicals that we were looking for. Maybe not in the amounts we were hoping what Elias has got in the laboratory, but in, I, we believe that we will get those once we learn how to run the process a bit better, like I said. Okay, then what we have already thought about as engineers, okay, we, we have to realize these through the equipment and through the machinery and the automation, everything. The science is, of course, the most important thing but then, of course, us as engineers, we have to design the plans and we have to calculate what is economically viable and, and what we have thought about how, what the steps should be into a, towards a full-scale plant. Of course, we need the lab analysis first of the masses. This is important that we know what kind of, what kind of bacteria, what kind of microbes we need to use for which biomass. Then, Using the pilot, what we have built, three to six months is our estimate that we could run this and then learn and get the, get the parameters for the full-scale plant. And then, of course, the engineering phase, doing the designing, the process designing, automation designing, mechanical designing, and so on, to, to start really going into and then, then start erection. Here, here comes the money. <laughs> Where we need the money. So, if there are money people in the room, we are we are happy to discuss this with you. With, because we are, in our view, we have we have done this now the three places, the first two steps. So the next two steps are a little bit. You see a little bit bigger balls there. And that's that's my my um presentation for the sub. Someone sell results.